Hey everyone, welcome to another video of Hawk Shooting. I hope you're all well and really excited for the upcoming school year because who isn't? Well, with the school term class of coaching, I thought it would be a good idea to chat about some of the study hacks and study tips that a lot of previous successful VC students had during their VC math studies. Um, this video is going to align more towards your VC math subjects and this is because the way you study your math subjects is generally quite different to the way you study your other subjects. And this is going to lead in well into the first of our three tips. Tip number one, maths is not a spectator sport. The way you study for your math subject is very different to let's say your English subjects. In English, you would read the book and then discuss the topic and themes with your teachers, your classmates, and then really, really try to understand the meanings behind the author's words. So for example, why is the curtain blue? But in maths, there's none of that. One plus one would always give you two. No debate, you're not reading between any lines at all, okay? So there's a question and there's a corresponding answer. And what that means is you'll be able to do lots and lots of practice questions. So you go do your questions from your textbook and then you go look at the back of your textbook for the answer. And if you get it right, you move on and keep doing more questions, more practice questions. And if you can't get it right, you, you keep getting it wrong, then there's a bunch of resources out there to help you. You've got your teachers, you've got your tutors if you've got one, and then if not, you've got online, you've got Google, and if that doesn't work, well, hopefully Hox Shooting's got something for you by that point. Uh, but what that is, is there's a lot of self-study materials out there to help you really practice all those maths questions. Trust me when I say this, guys, maths is a numbers game, literally and figuratively. The students who do the most practice questions will generally, and when I say generally, I mean 99.95% of the time, do better than the students who do the bare minimum amount of practice questions. Just that cycle of thinking about the formula and then writing that formula down and then checking your answer from the, you know, the back of the textbook or wherever, um, and just repeating that process five times, 10 times, 100 times, that's the stuff that trains your memory. And when you're doing this continually and consistently, then you're almost wiring your brain to automate these functions, to essentially instinctively do these math questions. You'll become more efficient, you become faster, and you, you know, do them right. So for example, Lionel Messi scores an absurd amount of free kicks, and he does this because he trains dozens and dozens of free kicks after every training session and Faker, the league player, plays 10, 12, 15 hours a day of league to become one of the best league player in its history. So moral of the story guys, practice, practice, practice. That is how you get better and more efficient in your math studies. Tip number two, set up a schedule. So using tip number one, you set out a goal to do lots and lots of practice questions. But we all know that that probably won't last very long. Almost like how your new year resolutions die in February. So what would you do if you want to keep motivated throughout the year? So there's a bunch of research out there and this is just from my gathering. Um, a trait that every successful VC students have is their good study habits. They make a study schedule and they stick to it. Just like how you train your body to wake up and brush your teeth every morning, you need to also learn to train your mind and your body to do that work after school. And the best way to do this is to draft up a weekly schedule. So, you know, on the Monday, what would you do after school? How many hours will you study? What are your break times? And then what would you do on your other days? So that's all up to you because you know yourself best. But I highly, highly recommend that you write this on a piece of paper and stick it up somewhere where you can see every day. So your bathroom wall, your bedroom wall, your bedroom door, anywhere where you, constant, where you can see it constantly and if you still want some suggestions and I would recommend two hours each day after school four and, uh, and four to five hours on the weekend each day um, and of course this is not solely for your math subject it'll be split across all your subjects think about it you get home from school four maybe five and then you have dinner till six or whenever that is and then you got six to ten or six to eleven o'clock and you just need to spend two hours doing that extra work Developing this habit is going to be crucial for not just your school years, it's going to apply beyond your school years as well. So more of the story guys, make sure you get a schedule and stick to it. That's the best way to stay motivated.
Tip number three, start your practice exams early. This is especially important in VC math subjects. I tell all of my students this, your end of year exams are worth 66% of your overall score. That is two thirds of your final study score. What that means is if you want to achieve a good, a decent grade in your VC math subjects, whether that is further methods or special, you will want to ace that final exam. And now the big question is, how do you study for that exam? Well, go back to tip number one. Maths is not a spectator sport. You need to be doing as many practice papers as you can to prepare for that final exam in November. Time is your enemy, guys. You can't be slacking off till term four, till October, until you start doing your practice papers because I can guarantee you that with along with all your other subjects, you won't be able to do enough or sufficient exam papers to be able to get that decent maths uh, study score. So personally, I recommend 15 different sets of exam papers that you want to do as a bare minimum. And to be able to achieve this, you need to be starting in around term three. The earlier, the better. To do this, you need to stick to your schedule from tip number two. Maybe finish a maths topic a day and including the extra study hours that you get from the weekends and also from your school breaks, then you'll be done with the textbook before you know it by term three. So as long as you keep with the habit, this should not be a problem at all. So more of the story, think about doing those practice exams as early as possible. Alright, so that's all of my three study tips for today guys. To summarize, tip number one, make sure you practice, practice, practice. Maths is not a spectator sport. Tip number two, make sure you set up a weekly schedule or a routine. And then tip number three, start doing those practice papers early. I hope you find this video helpful guys. And if you do, please leave a like on the video and subscribe to Hawk's YouTube channel because I would really appreciate it. Thank you for watching. I hope you have the best of school year and I'll see you in the next video.